Hi, how are you? What is the most valuable way of spending my time during this lockdown? Is spending time with my family. Due to be traveling a lot um, for the past six years, but it gives me time to spend with my family, catch up with loved ones, and be who I am. This is catch up time. So I really miss traveling, getting to see the fans, have a good time with them, and enjoy life with them. Yes, I'm, I'm real eager to get back out, but safety is first. That is first. I never stopped working uh, during quarantine. As a pharmacist, it was really important uh, to me feeling that I can help people in such a difficult time. As for the group, we could meet, rehearse, nor perform, but this whole situation pushed us to write our own lyrics and express our worries through traditional music, but with contemporary context. This question is a little uh, different for me because I was already in lockdown quarantine um, because I had to receive a rare brain surgery to cure a rare brain disorder that I was diagnosed with in 2016. So it was really bizarre to see all of my colleagues and friends and family have to do the same thing I was doing. It was almost like we were all getting brain surgery at the same time or something. The pandemic hasn't really affected the way that I work as an artist. It was really the Black Lives Matter movement that affected my workflow because now I feel like I'm in a position of needing to listen and watch and pay attention in order to figure out how I can adapt my skill set as an artist uh, in order to be more productive and proactive for the Black Lives Matter movement. Besides music, what art form inspires you the most? I love photographers. Don't be afraid to take pictures with people and fans because in due time, you don't know what that might do to them. It could cheer them up, it could make their day, and it could also be heartwarming. So I love taking pictures. Photography is the art that inspires me the most. Is the art that capture moments you feel that you play with things that get lost and through photography you bring them back to life. Agni Cagnier Bresson, the great representative of photography, is a huge photographer that I admire. I don't consider myself a musician, I consider myself a sound artist. Um, I believe that music is a language of sound. A lot of my work deals with um, creating silent sound installations. My abstract turntablism work I see more as an exercise in uh, maintaining a language with the present moment and um, maintaining my relationship with my deep listening as per what Pauline taught uh, me and so many of you as well, Pauline Oliveros. Queen Pauline, rest in peace, we love you. If there's one artist you still want to collaborate with, who is it and why? I take one of the two, but it's two. DJ Premier, as well as DJ Jazzy Jeff. Just send me one of those dynamic scratches or take this, can you scratch that? And I'll take care of the rest. More mother who invited me to like guess who. I think it would be really revolutionary to see a touring act that's these two black and POC artists that are successful in their own rights uh, touring the globe just showing um, that black and POC artists can participate in the contemporary art discourse. Why not show the younger generation what the future of art looks like? So Kame, hit me up, let me know what you think. I imagine our group, Socrates, performing with Madrugada, that uh, Norwegian alternative rock band. I think that uh, the darkness and the melancholy sound of that band is very close to polyphonic ovibirus. So the combination of all vocal group with that rock band would be a perfect match. I hope you're all healthy and wear your masks. <laughs>